you're up on stage, they are about to announce the top 10, the top five, or the winner, and they don't announce your name. What the heck do you do? I am here to give you all of my tips about how to handle losing a pageant because I've been in that situation where I didn't get in the, into the top 10, I didn't get called into the top 5, or I didn't get called as the winner, and it hurts. It really does. But I'm going to give you my tips and tricks about how to handle this situation. My first tip might be the most important, and that is smile. I know how bad you want to just cry and scream and run off stage. Try your best not to cry or make a face of anger or frustration when you're up on stage because they're filming the pageant most likely or they're taking photos. If your face is sour in the back of those photos and the winner gets her DVD back and all the photos back and she sees your face, that's very embarrassing and it's not you being a good sport at all. All. So you don't want to be a sore loser, suck those tears back in your eyes and just do everything you can to just smile, stand there graciously, and accept the fact that it's not your year. My second tip about how to handle losing a pageant is to go and support the winner. It's not her fault. You shouldn't be mad at the winner because she made the judges fall in love with her. It's not her fault at all. It's just not your year once again. So definitely go up to that winner, go up to all the girls that you competed against and congratulate them. They worked just as hard as you did for this title. At the end of the day, it's the friendships that matter and you wanna keep those connections. My third tip is to figure out what you did wrong. I use the term wrong loosely here because there's nothing wrong about getting up on stage and doing your personal best. You did what you needed to do and that's fabulous and you should be so proud of yourself, but figure out what you did and what you need to do to improve upon for the next time that you compete. Your evening gown walk, was it too slow, too fast? In swimsuit, did you present the best version of yourself or do you need to focus on eating healthy and maybe getting a personal trainer? In your interview, did you feel confident? Did you feel like you got all of the information that you wanted to out to the judges? So sit back and look at the big picture. It's so easy to get caught up in what you did wrong, but don't analyze it too much because at the end of the day, it's not your year. God has another plan for you or whoever you believe in has another plan for you and it's in the past there's nothing you can do to change it now so don't get caught up in analyzing all of your faults so quickly because everything happens for a reason and it, it shakes out the way that it should my next tip is to realize that it's just an opinion That's the difficult part about pageantry, is that in soccer, in football, in baseball, in any other sport, there are rules and regulations that have to be followed. And if someone fumbles the ball, then this happens and there's penalties and all this. In pageantry, you're literally putting your fate into a panel of judges' opinions. So you could walk into that interview room and if the man sitting there thinks that you look and remind him of his ex-wife, Instantly, he's gonna think of her when he looks at you. Or a judge may love you because you remind him of his daughter. Then there's so much that goes into it, so you have to just let it go. Let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. And understand though, and fully grasp, after you didn't place the way you wanted to, that it's just an opinion. My last tip, and one of my favorite tips, is to refocus your goals. What do I mean by this? I mean that you should figure out, and it doesn't have to be right away, take some time to recover and recuperate from the pageant because it's, it's probably was a long weekend or a long week, but figure out was this system right for you? You know, if it had a talent and talent is your weak point and that may have been the reason that you didn't make the top 10, should you choose another system that doesn't have talent? So find the pageant system that works for you and if the pageant system that you just competed in doesn't really have all the elements that showcase your strengths, search for other pageants. There are so many pageants out there. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up this video today. I just wanna leave this last piece of advice for all of you who are watching because you lost a pageant. You should be so proud of yourself. You got up on that stage and worked it in your evening gown, in your swimsuit, or you nailed your onstage question, or you've never felt better walking into that interview room, talking to those judges, and telling them who you really are. So take a step back 
before you get upset about the fact that you quote unquote lost a pageant and realize what you accomplished. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope I gave you some insight on how to handle losing a pageant. Please comment if you enjoyed this video and also please subscribe. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you so much again and I hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you.